everyone, and welcome to the Midweek War! It is me, Mad Mike, and we are here to talk some 205 Live! And with me, as advertised, is the one and only Sorgatron! I feel like we need to start just doing the intro to 205 Live as like the Saturday Night Live kind of setup. It's 205 Live with this week's guest. Oh, well, well oh, hold on, hold on, hold on. Because I can do a Jimmy Pardo impression. Oh, can you? Yeah. Um, this was it's, it's 205 Live. Musical guest, wife of the show, Missy. And starring Kitty Cat Man. That was it. That was yeah, it. you need the awkward pause in between. So I yeah. thought you were coming for another one. So and then, so, and then someone needs to run down like, boom, like well actually I, I forgot to say G E Smith and the Saturday Night Live band. There we go. Because they're always there. Because they're always, of course they've yeah. been they've been there I'm for forty sure, years. I'm pretty sure G E Smith doesn't even, even play for Saturday Night Live anymore. Hey, let's talk but about he, pro wrestling. G E Smith and the Saturday Night Live band musical guest three M B and starring. <laughs> John Cena! See, that's the point. We determine when it gets too loud, the internet can't handle it, and it pops. <laughs> See, there we go. See, yes. so you I gotta like keep tests for you. You have to keep it on shows. an even temper for, for this show. I know it'll be tough. I entirely refuse to do that. Mm. He's too excited about wrestling. He is, he is. I, story, I broke down what my weekend is going to be. It's going to be a good damn weekend. Mm-hmm. Well, there's yes. lots of wrestling this weekend. There is. And you can find out about, about a lot of that wrestling at IndieWrestling.us. Wow, that sounds like hey, a really good ad. Yeah, I know, right? Hey, Sword, what was your word for 205 Live this week? My word is insomnia. Uh, oh, okay. I got gotcha. you. I got gotcha. you. Took a second. Took a second. I think I know where you're going with that. All right. I like it. Um... My word is douche canoe. <laughs> Wait a minute. Yep. Douche canoe. Douche canoe. Uh-huh. Okay. Yep, that's my word. <laughs> All right, sorry. What was your good about 205 Live this week? Uh, my good was I love how despite uh, being 24 hours later, it looks like Neville hasn't, hasn't uh, slept in a week out of oh, this oh that's who you were talking about yeah who do you think i was talking about i thought you th i thought you were talking about brian kendrick no but also i like this is this is the week for just like uh mental health issues amongst <laughs> a lot of a lot of the 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 heels on on here so um yeah yeah so but, but I, you know between paranoid kendrick and Neville, it's like the episode where everybody's getting their just desserts. It, it's like everyone just did a live twenty-four hours of streaming stuff, and they're coming down off that high. Yeah, it's like it's like they're coming down off of the staying up way too late to watch Chris Wrestle Kingdom uh, high, or the staying up too late to watch Marvel's Defenders. Oh, oh, hi, hi. that's gonna be me. Hi. That's gonna be me. How you doing? Yeah, um. All right, so my good this week, I, I, you know, tag team wrestling. Tag team wrestling, Sorg. Tag team wrestling. I got to say, now that, you know, when they first started, Drew Gulak and Tony Nese were unevolved Pokemon. <laughs> they they were the, the Charmanders of 205 Live. Yeah, it, I mean, I'm going to say it was Charmander and Bulbasaur. I'm not gonna lie, I'm not gonna sugarcoat it. There's no squirtles right. in that bunch, right? Because obviously Pikachu is Tazawa. Well, yeah, uh, obviously. I don't think we need even need to say that sort. And plus, neither of them wear sunglasses, so neither of them could have been Squirtle or part of the Squirtle Squad. Nope. Yep. Squirtle Squad for life. They, squirtle, out, squirtle out. Uh, so now they teamed again this week, and we are in full on Charizard. Who, yes, that is Tony Nice. If you need Charizard has better abs, let's be honest. Let's be honest about this sort. Listen, Charizard has better abs and thinks he's better than you. No, uh -huh. knows he's better than you. Charizard, yep. and, yeah, he's kind of a dick. 
Yeah, and Venusaur, that is indeed Drew Gulak because he stays grounded and he throws you a lot with his vine whips. I don't know this one. I don't know this one. You don't know who Venusaur is? Nope. Uh, he, he, he's the big one with the flower on his back and uses solar beam. Oh, the Bulbasaur thing. That, like, yeah, there that, it okay. is. That becomes there a, it the is, Bulbasaur Zork. becomes that. Okay. Yeah. All right. I haven't got that far in Pokemon Zork, Go for that one. Zork, you are the best man of someone who has an almost completed Pokedex. You should know these things. <laughs> well, he does not share his almost completed Pokedex with me. Well, he should. Listen, listen. Uh, Although, I, I got to point out, my sister is was very good, at least in the first couple packs, of being able to identify most of the Pokemon because of my nephew's uh, interest in it. Excellent. All right, but yeah. That's, uh, that's this, momtastic right there. Yes. But yeah, like Gulak and Nice to- teaming up again, it was great. It was really a good time. And I love Drew Gulak's reasoning for saying Tony Nice is okay at being a show off was fantastic. He's like, he's like, I'm not one for show offs. And Tony Nice is definitely a show off. But he's the picture of physical health, which you people need. I'm like, he flipped it. I like it. And he brought it back like around. It. He brought it back around and put a bow on it. I'm trying to remember. Really Drew DeGulak, was his tag team partner Tony Nice in that Chikara that we watched one time, Missy? I feel like it was. Maybe. It might have been. It might have been the time where he got caught in a net. Yeah, might yes. have been. Yes. Okay. Um, but, but Sork, not every show is perfect. Mm-mm. We know this. We know Mm-mm. this. What would be your bad for 205 Lizard this week? I don't have a real big bad for this one. Like, nothing that really sticks out. Like, I thought it was... And, and to be fair, I did have to watch this show in parts um, okay. due to scheduling and sleepiness. Uh, okay. Hashtag insomnia. <laughs> uh, okay. The face Mustafa Ali t- uh, made when he was in a, in, a, in that in that, in that uh, captain's hook. Um, I don't know. <laughs> I, it just it, it frightened me a little bit. Um, that that's it. That's it. It, it. it was very noticeable. It just like wow, that's unflattering. Okay. Um, I no, but no real reason. It just stuck out to me, just in general. Um, but even that, I'm I'm loving the Jack Gallagher, like what that has turned into with Brian Kendrick. Well, and it looks like we're gonna get in our gentleman's duel, which I'm very mm-hmm. excited about because that match was fun the first time. Mm-hmm. Um. Okay, go ahead. No, 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 no. I need to get here oh, in your bed because I have good yeah. things to say. I, I have a lot of good things to say. So Okay. Um, I, I have a big bad this week, Sorg. Mm-hmm. Of the three or four shows that we could have Cruiserweight action on this week for WWE, um, the only show that's exclusively for Cruiserweight action is not getting a fucking title match. What? Raw had the title change. SummerSlam kickoff, told you that shit wouldn't be on SummerSlam, is getting the rematch. Okay. 205 Live gets poor Akira Tozawa trying to cut a promo. Why are we doing this? Why are we doing this, Sorg? I, I, I don't. I don't know. I don't get where they're at. It's like they they forgot that this is not main event or superstars. Like, uh, like I mean, I get it. They want to have a cruiserweight representation on the SummerSlam kickoff show. That's fine. I totally understand that. But there's an easy workaround. You have the rematch on 205 Live. You have Tozawa win, and then on the 205 Live kick on the SummerSlam kickoff. You have a cruiserweight battle royal for a number one contender. That's one way to handle it, but okay. Because then you get your entire roster on the show, and you can you can showcase people. Do you think they'll add an additional cruiserweight tag match to that pre-show? No, they won't because they add the Hardys and Jason Jordan against the Miseraj. This is true. This is true. That's a shame. That's a shame. Um, I don't. I'm kind of moving on from caring about where it's at on a pay-per-view. I'm not. I'm not. You, because you, until until WWE packages them all together on the network as one thing, it's a separate show. Okay. Okay. I got you. Um, 
so but I'm I'm just I, in my mind, but still in my mind, I'm kind of in a post pay per view era where it's going to matter a little bit less. And we've made the argument before about actually kickoff show you get in front of a lot of eyeballs, so it's not really that bad. Well, uh, uh, the counter argument I'll make that I understand where you're coming from with this. If I could just go to the matches that are in the kickoff, like anytime I wanted to, I'd totally be on board with you. But, like, let's say if you're looking for that Neville Aries match from the WrestleMania kickoff, you have to scrub through three hours of pre-show just to find it. Right. It doesn't come up in search? No. Hmm. That's still not that bad. Still not that. Yeah, it's not the greatest. I, I, but I, I have issues with it. I have issues. With I it, think. Obviously. I think in the grand scheme, um, um, findability of those matches is not something that they're concerned with. Yeah, that's because no one's watching them. Well, no, 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 no. It's just that it, it, no, because their people are watching them, or else they wouldn't have kickoff shows. Um, no, they they no, they have kickoff shows to try and sell the network. Right. They could honestly care less about the matches that are on it. Right. Anyways, where are we at? Yeah. Um, your change your change this week, Sorg, for two hundred five live. My change for this week, man. Um, you go first. My change this week. I would have had people stand in the locker room more awkward, for longer, awkwardly staring at Neville. Just like five minutes longer, because I thought that was, it, was amazing. Sorry, stuff stuff is really kind of mushing up in my head. Was that the scene where um, everybody was like turned away from him? Yeah. Like. Yeah. yeah. I, I wanted that segment to go five minutes longer with just everyone staring at him. It was <laughs> like the opposite of that scene where Vince was walking out to the limo to, that was about to explode, and everybody was looking at him, and then Paul London was just smiling. Yeah, basically. Like, and I just wanted that to go on longer. I thought I thought it was hilarious, and especially Sorg. Do you know who was in that scene? Who? Kitty Cat Man. No. Kitty Cat Man. With the Lindsay mask. Dorado. Yeah, Lindsay Duro himself was in that scene. Kitty Cat Man. And you got your Kitty Cat Man moment. Um, yeah. man, what is my what is my change? What is my change? Uh Only thing I could change is we have a scene where Brian Kendrick is freaking out and he's in the locker room and he's looking at himself in the mirror. But then <laughs> in that mirror, he sees a strangely special effect visage of of just Jack Gallagher twirling his mustache. So wait, wait, hold, hold. Yes, wait, I want the Hulk Hogan hold. Ultimate Warrior thing from I was WCW. Gonna say, you're going full Ultimate Warrior WCW mode. All right. Yes, yes. And then, then somebody like Charlie Caruso has to be standing right beside him because I don't know, she's in the locker room for some reason. You know, not seeing what he's seeing and what we're all seeing, but that's okay. Okay. Yeah. Oh, and by the way, the douche canoe from this week is Teddy Joystick Perkins. <laughs> okay, why? Uh, because he's just kind of a dick. He claims he was injured, comes out on crutches to distract uh, Rich Swan. Yep. He's just being a douche canoe. Yep, absolutely. And I'm saying a douche canoe because the crutches are his oars. Sometimes you just have to reconsider your friends on crutches. That's true. Yeah, what, I, I actually have that rule. Once you're my friend and you get injured, you are no longer my friend until you are fully mobile. That's right. <laughs> That's just a rule I have. I mean, people people are the most are the least trustworthy when they're on crutches. Yes, because you know what? They fucking need something, Sork. They fucking need something. Yes, them. like the ability to walk, or usually a ride. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, anyway, I'm I'm just joking around. I have no. I, for the record, I have nothing against people on crutches and or in wheelchairs unless your name is Hot Wheels. I have nothing wrong with people <laughs> of temporary immobility. <laughs> or permanent immobility. This, this is the era to walk everything back, right, Sork? <laughs> Hashtag PMS. Uh, Let's walk this episode back to the yes! point. Yes, Sorg, what is your ranking 
for 205 Live this week? I'm thinking two on this okay. one. I'm thinking two. Because, and we'll, you'll see why. Okay. Um, yes, yes, number one is what you expect it to be. It fucking better be. Are you kidding me? Oh, my God. Um, Nobody had a <laughs> chance. There was a firefight! Um, sorry, what? I just watched Boondock Saints. Oh, okay. Uh, I was going to say, did we watch the same episode of Lucha? Yeah, we did. <laughs> um, I don't know where my ranking is this week because... You know, I'm gonna I'm gonna go. I'll go number two. I'll. It, it's like it, it's close between NXT and Lucha. And oh podcast. yeah, it's not it's not a strong distance, it's and and, close, it, yeah. and it really hasn't been. Nobody's been dead last, dead, dead, dead. Oh my god, completely number three or maybe five, uh, for a good long time. Uh, all have been uh, uh, tremendously strong shows, but and now I'm thinking more about NXT. It's like man, there was some fun stuff there, but. I thought 205 really shined. This yeah, game. but NXT, the main event, mm. dragged me down mm. so much. But actually, that, Let's that's, talk that's about that on NXT wrap up. Oh, but, about, but that's that's my rationale for it. Like yeah. the main event on 205 Live, even though it was a talking segment, it was a lot of fun. Because mm-hmm. Tyson, Tyson knew with the champagne bottle. <laughs> like you could tell, Akira just kind of dropped his character for one second. He's like, "What are you doing?" <laughs> it was really great. It was, re- it was a really, really fun moment. And I was just like, sorry. Like, you can tell it's like, oh, no, did I touch Vince again? <laughs> and in the meantime, uh, I do have to give a shout outs because uh, our boy Brandon out there has been live tweeting Impact tonight. I don't know if you've seen some of this, Mike. Um, I've been at work throwing toys at people, so I have not seen it. But, Brandon, why are you doing this? <laughs> I have told you, do you want to end up like this? This is what happens when you live tweet impact. <laughs> this is your future. This I mean, is your future over here on the monitor. I mean, Grant, it's not bad to look at. Trust me, on the inside, totally dead. <laughs> just, He's just pointing at his head. Wait, I, mean, I got to point out. I got to point out. He's pointing to his head, not his heart or anything yes, like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, no. Here, oh, no, I'm completely devoid of anything. Like, I, you know, you know the Grinch Sorg? When I watch Impact, it shrinks three sizes that day. My common, my common sense shrinks three sizes that day. All right. <laughs> Sorg, where can the good people find you on the internet? Oh, just start your your way down to SorgatronMedia.com and go down that internet and, and podcasting rabbit hole. And watch Sawtooth Phil Willy play with a sp- uh, fidget spinner. Oh, God. That's got to be Like two minutes of just him playing with fidget spinner. He may try to eat it. Okay. That's fair. Uh, they are delicious, by the way. Mm-hmm. Um, yes. And you can find me at MadMike4883 on the Twitter machine. Also go to at Mayhem Show. Look for the hashtag MM. And if you see this gorgeous face in Brooklyn for TakeOver and address me as Mad Mike, feel free to chop me in the chest. Chop the shit out of him. You have to let me know it's coming, though. Mm-hmm. That, that You know, I got to brace myself. That just makes sense. Got to lift the chin. I, I, was, I was instructed on how to do all that fun stuff. That's right. Yes. And, uh, yeah, so everyone enjoy this wrestling weekend, and we will catch you next week right here on Facebook Live on The Mid-Week War!